Hello and good evening. This is Mr. Lobedises uh, from Pine High School. I am the SDC and an uh, Algebra AB and Pre-Algebra 8-9 teacher. I have uh, been teaching here at Poly High School for the past 12 years. And prior to that, I uh, taught at Jordan High School for four years as an Algebra AB and CD teacher. So I, my undergrad is in architecture and uh, my master's degree in special education. So prior to uh, move here in uh, Southern California, I used to uh, work at the Bay Area, Oakland. So my first job was in Spectrum Center, so as a special ed teacher. So again, thank you so much for coming tonight. And I'm going to share to you about what is your uh, child's expectation in my class. Okay, let me share to you my screen right now. Okay, so as you see, this is my uh, homepage uh, at Canvas. By the way, Canvas is, uh, is a new learning management system that's introduced for this school year uh, for both teacher and students. And, you know, everyone is uh, having uh, some uh, challenges, but we are able to uh, manage it and then uh, deliver it uh, to your uh, child. So this is the home and uh, what you can see is right here the Zoom, Algebra AB, Pre-Algebra 8-9, Syllabus, Schedule, and Online Textbook. Basically those are the things that I'm going to uh, uh, discuss. Okay, so first uh, let me show it to you what is the uh, Algebra AB. The Algebra AB is right here. Okay, so very, very similar to my homepage. You will see the welcome when you click that one, or your student click this one, it will lead to my bio. What you're going to see is the Zoom link. It's very important because that's where all of our classes uh, happen. The syllabus, the schedule, the online textbook. Okay, let me click the uh, syllabus for this one. Or, excuse me, AB. So this is the course description. You, you have time, read that one. And then these are the materials, course materials. But I am recommending the students to have a notebook, pencil or pen, calculators, very important, uh, graphing paper, because we're going to do uh, graphing. And those are the recommended, but it's not required. Expectation, these are the four. Uh, but the expectation is what I want from my students every time they come to my Zoom class is to, uh, have a, uh, what do you call this? Uh, I call this an idea that they're getting into the classroom, they're attending the classroom uh, as a normal uh, uh, behavior. Like uh, they're going to be presentable, they're uh, you know listening, they have a question, they're going to raise their hand or they're going to uh, turn on their uh, microphone. And then the expectation, as I have said, uh, they also need to use appropriate language. So those are one of those uh, force uh, expectations. And the consequences for that, uh, let's say, if they fail to follow those verbal uh, warning and then individual conference using uh, breakout rooms and Zoom, and then call parents, and if you cannot resolve that, then that's the time you're going to uh, refer to the administrator. So my number one policy is everyone must succeed, no matter how big or small their progress is, because I do believe that everyone should be given an opportunity to pass and succeed in class, no matter what their circumstances or situation in life. And I don't believe in failing. So therefore, each student must pass and uh, succeed. So in terms of work, makeup works, I don't really, uh, you know, are particular on that one. As I have said, I do believe that everyone must be given an opportunity and chance to submit whatever uh, their work they're missing. In terms of grading, weighing, 20% uh, attendance, warm up at classwork 10%, test is 30%, project 30%, and participation is 10%. So that is similar to uh, algebra, uh, pre algebra 8 9. The only difference is the course description and also the uh, course materials. But in terms of uh, recommended materials, it's similar. Consequences, expectation, policies, and then the, uh, the grading system are the same. So that is uh, what they're going to learn in Algebra AB. 
there are only three units. Algebra AB is divided into three units, equation and qualities, linear equation, and system of linear equation, and exponential function. So the textbook they're going to use for that one is when they click this one, it will show this uh, one. So this is the textbook they need to use and they need to have. And um, for the, um, these are also the course, uh, I call this how they, we divided it. And uh, it's also right here. So if you get the chance, well, read it and look at it. And also I have linked the virtual learning students advocates and norms. As I had said a, girl, a while ago, we're using a lot of Zoom and we just want to make it sure that students are aware of their behavior while they're on virtual activity or virtual uh, lesson. Okay, how about um, uh, pre-algebra? And pre-algebra, uh, the same course, uh, I mean, the, the setup is the same thing. You have uh, this one, like course uh, homepage, the Zoom link, the syllabus, the schedule, and the online uh, textbook. So the textbook uh, they're going to use is this one, uh, course three, degree BS. And um, their lessons, or the, the entire course, is divided into six uh, units, equation, transformational geometry, linear equations, system linear equations, function, exponents, and roots, and the statistics. So we're kind of like looking forward to, you know, cover everything, and uh, hopefully we can finish it. But if we can't, it's okay. But what I'm more important is we prepare students to the next uh, uh, grade level of their math. And we understand that the situation that we have is uh, a little bit challenging, but we're we'll just do the best as we can to deliver the lesson in pre-algebra 8-9 or algebra 8. So I think that's all that I have for uh, tonight. And uh, again, if you have any uh, uh, other question uh, regarding with the uh, either algebra A, B, uh, or pre-algebra 89 courses, you may uh, reach me out at rlobidesis at lbschools.net, or you can call me here at school at 562-591-0581. My extension is uh, 5260. Again, I appreciate your time, and uh, don't hesitate to call me here at school. And thank you so much for attending the Back to School Night uh, via Zoom. And I am looking forward to see you in person, hopefully next year. And again, thank you so much and have a blessed evening. Good night.